Hey guys, what is going on today? Today we're going to be trying out a product a lot of you all have asked about over the time and saying, look, would you try this out for me? I know you've tried a bunch of other waterless washes and waxes, stuff like that. Would you try the Chemical, chemical Guys version out for me? And I said, sure, I would. So last time I ordered that big giant box, it's probably been a couple months now, I went ahead and picked up their EcoSmart Waterless Wash and Wax. Now it says it's a waterless detailing solution that cleans, shines, and protects. Uh, actually, this is actually a, uh, a concentrated solution, so I'll be able to dilute it down several times as much as I want to, versus many of the other products I've tried that I have not diluted it down. So this could be really good for you guys who do a lot of this stuff, who is already in the winter season, already getting snow. It is for some reason very hot today. It is 80 degrees today, and the last couple days has been like the 60s and 70s. So we're back to the hot heat here in uh, the winter here in Florida. So. This would be perfect for you guys up north though. Not really in Florida, but this is good for Florida as well. So we're going to bring the car in the garage. We're going to do this all underneath the uh, garage. Just like you guys would do up north. be a little bit cooler for me. And we'll actually try it out. We'll dilute it down. We'll go from there. So I'll see you all inside the garage. Alright, what I'm going to do real quick is go ahead and go over the directions because we will be diluting this right now. I already have a bottle over there ready to go. It says directions. Mix 8 ounce bottle of Eco Smart Concentrate with 1 gallon of distilled water or one ounce to 16 ounces of distilled water. For best results, use product in a shaded area. Uh, shake well to activate. Lightly spray EcoSmart concentrate directly on the surface using a premium microfiber towel. Gently wipe in one direction to remove dirt. Once dirt is removed, a light haze of carnauba wax will be left on the surface. Using a microfiber towel, buff off carnauba haze for a high, for a gloss shine. Enjoy a beautiful, clean car. So basically, that's just generally about it. So it's, this is going to be, uh, hold on a second, it's, well, here it is. So one ounce to 16, uh, 16, one ounce of this to 16 ounces of water. So giving you guys a heads up, this is actually a 16 ounce bottle. So basically with this, you could make uh, two full gallons or many, many of the tiny bottles like this size if you were just doing it for small. And that's all I'm going to be using it for. So I'm going to go ahead and get the bottle filled up with 16 ounces of water. Then I'll get you the measuring cup so you guys can believe me. And we'll do one ounce in here, mix it in, and we'll start going ahead and clean the car. Because like I said, it said recommended in the garage. And like I said, for you guys up in the north that are already dealing with snow and stuff, and you still want to keep your car decent, this is the perfect way to do it. I love waterless wash and shine. It's so easy and so quick to clean. You don't have to drag the hose out and stuff like that. It just makes life a lot easier. And so I really hope this product does work, especially with the dilution ratio. So I'll go ahead and set up everything, and I'll see you here in two. We'll start. All right, so let you guys know, I went ahead and put 16 fluid ounces in here in our main sprayer bottle. Now I got my little uh, measuring cup out here for all you non-believers. I, I, every time on YouTube, there's always just non-believers. You did it wrong. You put in too much. You didn't use enough. It really is funny. The comment section sometimes get a little bit funny. So that's about one ounce right there. Let's just go ahead and do a quick smell test while I lay, sit this down. Smell is not bad. It actually smells really sweet. Very nice. And I do I actually like that stuff when a product smells really sweet and nice. So we'll go ahead and put in the one ounce directly into the 16 ounces here. And boom. So there we go. Now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and shake it all up. Put in our nozzle and we'll go ahead and start cleaning. So I'll see you here in a second. Right, back. Everything's been ready to go here. I have my premium microfiber towel. I get these questions all the time. What do you use or what are they and stuff like that? These are the silk micro, uh, silk lined microfiber towels. These are generally about three for fifteen dollars. The more money you spend using, the better quality you're going to get. You can get these from definitely from Chemical Guys. I've got them from other uh, sources as well. But I want to say these are three for fifteen dollars. I just fold them in fours and go from there. Now about the car, the car is not entirely filthy. I've been mudding with it like all you guys would like to think that I do with my cars. It's like, well, what do you think I'm going to do with my car? I live in Florida. So it's not that filthy. It's been about three or four weeks since I washed it. I've taken it out maybe five or six times since then. So let's go ahead and start trying out and see what this is, how this does. Now I've tried about four or five waterless washes. I like them all. So this will be my first time with Chemical Guys and we'll see what happens. Right now I'm expecting some kind of like coloring here when I'm doing this. I'm noticing it. I feel like I'm just spraying water right now. I, I don't know what to tell you guys. Uh, I just, I, I mixed it right, the right portions you saw, but I'm usually expecting some kind of like color. I don't want to, I don't know how to explain it to you, but as I first sprayed on, it looks like I'm just spraying straight water. I mean, you clearly can see it in there, but I don't know what I'm supposed to be expecting. So we'll go ahead and we'll start wiping it down like I normally would here. So I'll do it in fours and I'll let you guys see. And maybe here towards the end, what I'm going to do is maybe I'll show you what another company would do and go from there. But I'm not going to judge them right now. I'm not judging them because this is my first time using it. So I honestly don't know. This is my first time seeing it just along with you guys and do on from there. So I'll, fold, I'll flip it back over and then I'll just buff off whatever's here, okay? So basically this is all there is to waterless wash. I mean, these things are, are a blast. I love waterless washes. 
but I, I don't know what I was expecting. Maybe I was expecting some kind of like liquid, like uh, the green coloring. I don't know what I was expecting. Maybe I should do even more to it. But every time I've seen the chemical guys use any of these kind of products, there's a little bit of green tinge to it, or at least a, a creamier look to it. Whereas you can see on mine, I'm not getting that at all. So let me go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some more. And then what I'll do, if, if I'm still not seeing it, I do want you guys to understand what I'm talking about. And I'll bring out another waterless wash from a second party company or third party company. And we'll show you the difference and go from there. So let me go ahead and finish off some more. And then I'm gonna come back and show you some more. Here we go. All right guys, I've gotta do something I don't normally do. This is very rare for me to do. I would never do this unless I feel like it's absolutely necessary here. I am using the product, you guys got to see me do it. When I sprayed it on, I told you it is clear. I feel like I'm just shooting just water all over my hood. And I'm just darn well scared. I am going to scratch the paint. I am not going through another Armor All Wipes incident here. I am just absolutely paranoid that I'm only shooting water and this is just too thin, too water down at one ounce per uh, 16 ounce bottle. Right, so what I'm doing here, I know this is, this is t totally taboo. I shouldn't be doing this. But this is Masterson's waterless wash and shine. Yes, I know he left um, chemical guys, but their stuff is not watered down or anything. And look how much thicker it is. Now maybe I could just shoot straight up there, but I'm looking at the directions here and it doesn't say anything about having to water it down. We're on this actual product over here that uh, chemical guys eco smart it does. Let me show you a difference just to prove you what I'm talking about. This is just a waterless wash and wax I have on hand with me right now. So I hope you guys can see this. Do you see it now guys? Do you see how there's zero, I mean zero, coloring to it at all? Can you see that? You can see the little speckles in the paint, I'm sure, against the light here. Now, let me go ahead and try some of the actual um, uh, Masterson's right next to it, okay? Just so you can see it. Do you see, do you see the difference here? They're side by side. Can you see there's nice, creamy, uh, slick liquid in there and there is nothing here. Absolutely nothing. And this company does not ask for actual diluting where Chemical Guys does. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, but I am darn well scared crapless to scratch up my GTR with this. So I gotta tell you right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull the plug on this video. I just don't wanna do it. I don't wanna scratch up this car. It's just, I, I spent seven hours doing paint correction back in January. I know a paint correction is coming again soon. I am going to put a hard coat on here, stuff on here. Uh, this time I'm going to put some like Gion coat. But look at the difference. It is quite literally night and day. And I just, I don't trust the EcoSmart at this point. I feel like I am quite literally just putting on uh, product here. And that's generally about it. I mean, it's just, it's just so much better here versus this stuff over here. It just, this honestly feels like water. And I don't want you guys to run into the same problem. I don't want you guys to have an armor all situation like I did. Now, I'm probably gonna get flagged so hard for this video because of what I just did, but honestly, it doesn't matter. I'm here to save you and save your car's paints, okay? And that's just generally the way I feel about it, that this is just, it's too thin, it's not cleaning, and the Mastersons did clean. And that could be with anything. I could use wax gods, I've used Meguiar's, I've used multiple different wireless cop honeys. So like I said, I've never pulled the trigger like this before, but you can see, I mean, it's just, it's just completely watered down. Now look at the Masterson's. Look how thick it is side by side. And I could get you some of the other ones I have. I have Wax Gods over there, but Wax Gods is basically out. I've had Meguiar's. I've tried one other company. Uh, even the Armor All spray can, the spray can, not the wipes, but the spray can is a thicker than this. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and break that out real quick just to show you, make you a point because I want to make the best point possible when making my videos. And that's why I'm so deadly serious about letting you guys know about this. Even if I'm wrong, I'd rather show you the proof. Give me a second to get that out. All right, let's again go ahead and try this out again. So we have the bottle here and we're going to spray it down here. This is still the chemical guys and I want you guys to see it. Okay. I don't know if I'm supposed to have some miracle water or something like that, but you can see it just looks like water. Now, this is the Armor All Ultra Shine Spray Wash. This, I'm telling you, not, now not their wipes, don't use their wipes, for God forbid they don't, don't ever use their wipes. But that is how confident I am to using their actual stuff on it. Okay? Now, look at the difference already. Now granted, it came out as a little bit of a foam, but it doesn't matter. This stuff is slick as ice. Look at it. It's just slick. There's just, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. It feels just like water when I touch the chemical guys. But when I touch here, it's actually like a, a nice slick formula, okay? So this is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to save your butt on it. I don't want you buying products that I don't know. I'm gonna do a little bit more research before I release this video. I was gonna release it later on today, but I'm gonna do one more test 
outside of the video just to see if I'm in the wrong or I'm in the right, okay? I've even contacted somebody to ask them their opinion before I put this video out. So you guys might get a full-on review of this. All right, for one last test, I want to go ahead and show you this. This is the um, Wax Gods Waterless Washing Wax. I love this. There's barely anything left. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it to even shoot out, but we'll see what we can. Again, Chemical Guys here, okay? There you go. See, it's Chemical Guys. Let's go ahead and see if we can get Wax Gods to actually uh, get anything out of here, okay? See, see like I said, it's, it's almost gone. So I'm trying the best I can. So let's go ahead and try it again. Slick as ice. It's... I, I don't know. I, I don't know what to tell you guys. It's just it's just watery where there's a definite slickness to this where there's nothing there. So I'm gonna go ahead and dry it off. I'm gonna try one more thing, but I'm telling you I'm not gonna use it on the rest of the car. Not the way I feel how, about how it is right now. Okay, I just I don't I just don't trust it and I don't want another armor all incident. It took me hours to clean up and I still I'm not happy with my own results, period, with what I did with the armor all stuff. Wow, I just the Wax God stuff smells so good. It is amazing. It's such a good smelling. It's some of the best spray of products I've seen. You know, this might be just a silly thing I did, and I'm going to do it just because that's me. I spent the money, so I don't care. I'm going to do it my own way. I went ahead and grabbed a regular squirt sprayer nozzle, put it on top of the concentrated bottle here, so it's just like every other product I just showed you, and we're going to see. Now, granted, they say this is concentrated, okay, you can see, and it's meant to be diluted, but I just don't care at this point. It really doesn't matter. I'll probably put way too much on there. Let's see if there's any, any real difference to it. And like I said, they want to... I've noticed this with Chemical Eyes, most of their products are beyond watered down. Not all of them, but most of their products, especially the car washes, are really, really, really watered down. See, now it's more of a rich, slick feeling. It's not as slick as some of the other products I just let you know, showed you, but it is definitely a richer. But you can see how it just drips and drips and drips down where some of the other products maybe didn't drip as quickly. So, oh yeah, oh, this is, this is a thousand times better. This honestly is the way it should be actually used right here, just spraying it directly out of the bottle here. Oh yeah, this is much better right here. Let me, let me go ahead and flip over the microfiber towel, just wipe it down for you guys real good. And then just let you guys know. It's just, it's a thousand times better if you just use it directly. And like I said, that gets back to the point where I've noticed where Chemical Guys products, they just water down the living crap out of too many of their products. And I'm, I'm sure they make really good products. I've ran into a couple ones like the Jet Seal. I like their Jet Seal a lot. But I'm telling you, their car washers are just beyond watered down. And I just, I don't like them. My God, it's, it's, it's just a night and day difference when you use it straight out of the bottle like that. I know they're not, they don't really recommend that, but it's just a huge, huge stinking difference. And if I'm and you know, at $9 it, or whatever this was, $9, 10 $12, I honestly can't remember off the top of my head, I would much rather use that than water it down in like this. When most waterless washes anyways, even McGuire's is like $12.99. It's just, it's a huge, huge difference. So you know what? I don't know. I might go ahead and finish the entire car just like that, even though it's concentrated. You know what, saying just screw it all, I don't care. Or do I just go ahead and wrap up the video right now and say, you know what, I'll pass on this video, pass on this product because it's just too watered down the way it sits right now. I, I just, I don't know what to do, guys. I'm just honestly at a point where I've never been before because I was just so scared about putting squirrels in my car paint and I'm not dealing with another arm roll. So I don't know. This might be the final result here. I'll let you guys know. Give me a second for the plane to fly over and I'll, I'll think about it here. All right, I've thought about it. Because I love you guys so much and I really do love my subscribers, this, you guys really mean that much to me and I want you guys to get a fair shake of a review here. That's why I did all the different combinations of different products here to show it to you. I'm going to use this on the entire car just like this. I don't care if I'm doing it wrong, but at least we will know for sure then if it's definitely a lot better for you to just straight concentrate or to water down. Because if it watered down right now, I would tell you to never, ever, ever, ever use this product and all of those other products, including Armor All Spray Wash, is better than this stuff if it's watered down. But if we're going to put it straight in there, kind of like Masterson's Wax right here, Masterson's Waterless Wash and Shine right here, and how it's not watered down, this is slick as ice, and you saw how creamy it was, and this thing has nothing, it's just water, uh, then it's better, because I want to say this is around $10, $12, $13, but this is, I think is around maybe like, I don't know, $9, $10, maybe it's $18 for this. I think this was a little bit more because it was concentrated, but I'm telling you, right now as it sits, 
by this, by one of the other companies, I don't matter. So let me go ahead, we'll go ahead and finish it off just because I love you guys so much, and then I'll show you the end results out there in the sun. And I really, really do hope I get a massive thumbs up from you guys for at least giving you a truthful, honest review. So thanks very much for watching. Let me go ahead and finish off the rest of the car, and uh, I'll see you here in about 10 or 15 minutes when I get done. I just, I, I, I don't know what to tell you guys. I just, I'm not feeling the product. I'm sorry, I just don't feel this product. I just, have you ever been to the point in your life, whether you're at work, whether you're at home and you're doing something and you just, you hate with what you're doing and you just are like telling yourself, let's just get this over with? Well, that's honestly the way I feel right now with this product. It's just, it's so, it's just not doing it for me. I don't know if it's, I'm just having a bad day or what. It's just, it's not doing it for me. I proved in all these different other products that are just a far better and superior product. I want to say the concentrated version is $18 for this. And for me to not get that vibe that I'm just really doing a good job cleaning my car and I'm having to go over certain areas twice, I, I, I don't know what to tell you guys. I was going to push myself and push myself to finish it, but honestly, I don't want to. I really just generally don't want to. And I, 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 don't, I don't know if I'm going to scratch my car or what. And you know, this is an expensive car and I've already spent seven hours properly correcting it back in January. And I just, I don't want to go through that again, guys. I just don't. And I just... I, I don't know. I mean, even no product, not every product I'm going to show you is going to be perfect by far, okay? I understand that. But this is just, it's not good, guys. And I don't want you as my subscribers to spend your hard-earned money on a wireless wash when I just showed you all those products back there that are far, far better. Even Armor All's better. I mean, Armor All people. And they're the cheapest line around. I mean, Turtle Wax blows Armor All away. It just, I, I don't even know what to tell you guys. And I just, I'm at the point now where I just don't want to go any further with this. I want to just bring out the buckets, bring out a proper suds, and wash it right and do it right the first time and be done with it so I know it's done right. So at this point in time, I just, I can't recommend this product to you, at all to you guys. Not even straight. I mean, it, yeah, it hazed up now that it's straight, solid, concentrated. It definitely hazed up like they said it was going to. But I had to use it as straight concentrate. And I, it's just, mmm. Nah, nah, I just, I, I don't want you guys to waste your money on this, guys. This, right now, if I would rate it in a 1 to 10, it's probably a 1 or 2 at the product aligned. It's just, it's not worth it. There's just too many products. Trust me on this one. I've tried them from Grillo's Garage, Meguiar's, Wax Gods, Masterson's, Armor All. Turtle Wax is a brand new one coming out for 2018. I guarantee you it's going to be better than this. It's just... It's mind blowing, guys. It really and honestly is mind blowing, and uh, I just I, I can't recommend it anymore. I don't know if you want to say that I'm just having a bad day. I did it wrong, or whatever. You can say what you want, but if you're not happy when you're doing this and you're not having fun doing it, you don't need to be doing it because you might actually ruin your car's paint or something like that even worse. So, guys, I hope you really like the honest review. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up. It's just not for me, and I don't want you guys to spend it either. So right now, final review, one out of ten, two out of ten. That's all I can give it. So there you go. Appreciate you guys hanging in there with me for some honest and truthful reviews. Take care.